These are exciting times for believers in Christ who are interested in Bible prophecy. Many things that are suggested by unfulfilled future prophecy seem to be trending in our world. And that's why we reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to discuss some of them. We uh, try to use recognized, reliable sources for news and information. And we're not saying that the things we report are the definite fulfillment of prophecy. They're just the things you'd expect from reading your Bible literally. Now, the description we're given in the Bible of the future Great Tribulation suggests there will be what experts today would call a surveillance state. Your habits and your movements will all be known to the global government in the tribulation. You'd therefore expect to see a trend towards more of a surveillance state, and you do largely thanks to COVID-19. One article from November was titled, COVID-19 is accelerating the surveillance state. I'll read a few excerpts from that article. The writer says, the first global pandemic of the digital age has accelerated the international adoption of surveillance and public security technologies, normalizing new forms of widespread overt state surveillance. These technologies have been layered on top of already pervasive forms of privatized data surveillance through smartphones and the Internet of Things. The pandemic has also fueled the normalization of surveillance in previously private contexts. The risk of this new era of surveillance is that it has the potential to permanently shift power from citizens to the state. The pandemic has driven advances in facial recognition technology, a particularly pro problematic and intrusive form of surveillance that enables a rapid connection of an individual's physical presence with deep online data profiles. Facial recognition technologies integrated with thermal imaging cameras purporting to detect people with fevers have been marketed by at least 10 companies to police forces and governments around the world since the start of the pandemic. Fever screening systems are reportedly being trialed at airports in Australia, the UK, and India, using deep learning algorithms to quickly detect body temperatures in crowds of up to 2,000 people per hour. Governments seeking greater social and political control have an opportunity to use COVID-19 as cloud cover to make capital investments in surveillance technologies, including those that enable, store, and process mass collections of data on people's location, activities, both physical and digital, and biometrics, including G uh, DNA and genomics. Another article said, in June, Singapore rolled out a mandatory COVID-19 tracing program that would identify people who had come in contact with virus carriers. At the time, we said tracing apps would usher in a massive surveillance state where no one is safe from the government. And indeed, that seems to be the case now in Singapore. About 80% of the country's 5.6 million people have downloaded Trace Together. A private statement on the app originally said that the data collected would only be used for contact tracing purposes. Immediately after it was adopted, the privacy statement was updated. It now reads, authorized police officers may invoke the criminal procedure code powers to request users to upload their trace together data for criminal investigation. In a Bloomberg article titled, The Surveillance State is a Reality, the reporter said, it's really not a question of whether surveillance states are starting to take hold. Many civil rights advocates say it's already happened. Now, this could go in a lot of different directions, and I'm not making any predictions. This could all fade away tomorrow. Uh, we've seen lots of different strange things happen over the years. All I'm doing is pointing out that the current trend towards a surveillance state is exactly what you expected to be happening from reading the Bible. Uh, to me, it's actually remarkable how quickly it came upon us because of the pandemic and people's fears of getting sick. Uh, and, and so now, and it's not a conspiracy theory. Governments are saying we are going to take advantage of this to make massive changes in how we do things. So it's not a conspiracy if they're open about it, right? It's not Christians suggesting, uh, you know, a deep state conspiracy theory. This is government saying it's a great time to start rolling out more surveillance and uh, we'll use it for whatever we want. We believe in the resurrection and rapture of the church and that it's imminent. It could happen any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it happens. And it's going to happen before the tribulation. Jesus returns in the clouds. He raises the dead in Christ. He transforms the bodies of living believers into our glorified bodies, catches us away to heaven 
tribulation on the earth. He comes at the end of it in his second coming with us to establish his kingdom. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready. Keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming.